Minnesota bus driver who also works in the community as a pastor, was relieved of his duties after leading students in prayer. Following receiving a complaint from the school district, the bus service switched driver George Nathaniel to another route. Undaunted, Nathaniel once again started praying on the bus. Soon after, the bus company issued Nathaniel a letter saying they couldn't continue to employ him. It specified the reason as not only the complaints about the prayers, but some general performance issues as well. A spokeswoman for the school transit service said that they don't have a specific policy on prayer. However, it is written into the contracts that the school district has the final word on whether bus drivers stay or go. Nathaniel defended his position, saying that when reassigned, he asked parents if they minded. No one expressed that they did. He also said it was his First Amendment right to do so. The ACLU doesn't see it that way. The legal director of their Minnesota affiliate said that by leading the prayers, he was actually violating it. She said there is no constitutional protection for praying to a captive audience of school children.